Yo ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Tech Time. Today we are going to learn frequency saturation and also retouching. We are going to make the model's face very smooth to move the pimples and also make the face very smooth. First of all, we start by creating a layer by pressing Ctrl G to remove our pimples we choose the patch two and uh, we circle around the pimples and uh, pull it down circle around the pimples and circle down remember we choose the patch two you can also use the healing brush but this time we are using the patch to to remove them yeah using the patch to mm. we are using the patch to to remove them mm. remove the pimples on the face So after all the pimples are removed, we create another layer by hitting Ctrl G on the Windows and also on Mac is Command G. So we name the top layer high frequency and the lower layer low frequency. At this point, we, all, we have to uncheck the higher frequency and choose the lower frequency layer. Go to filter and choose blur, Gaussian blur. We bring the radius down and zoom in and look for the skin that has, part of the skin that has a lot of testers here. So we bring the radius up to see that the skin is smooth so at this point uh, we use five percent radius after that we on we will check on the higher frequency and come to image and choose apply image at this point uh, we are using eight bits picture so we we'll choose here we have to choose on the layer we have to choose lower frequency and also blending mode should be sub subtract and uh, the skill should be two the offset should be 1.8 and also the channel should be rgb invert should be unchecked and preview should be checked you press ok at this point uh, we have to blend the picture by going to linear light we add linear light and group the two layers so by hitting control plus control on the keyboard and hold the mouse left side and right click and choose group from layer uh, you can name it give it any name that you want but i will give it skin so at this point i will open and i will check the top frequency layer which is the high frequency and i'll click on the lower frequency here we are going to use our mr brush so our mr brush make sure you choose the clean brush and uh, also the weight should be lower so we'll choose 10 percent of weight the load should be 75 mixture should be 90 percent and also flow should be 100 percent and uh, sample all layers should be unchecked sample all layers should be unchecked so we choose the dual frequency layer and uh, we choose our brush make sure the hardness is zero make sure the hardness is zero and we choose our soft brush so 
paint on it gradually and paint on it gradually Make sure not to paint on the eyebrow. Make sure not to paint on the eyebrow. So make sure you paint on. You hold the left leg of the mouse and paint on it gently, gently. They will slowly. So you leave it and hold on it. Hold and you paint. Hold and you paint. So make sure you paint on the model's face uh, so you can see before after before after you are not done with it so you'll be doing it gradually paint on it we we'll do the same to the skin we are done with the face so we'll do the skin we'll do the skin we we'll bring the brush down and we we'll do the skin we we'll do the skin as well we we'll do the skin So you can see before and after, before and after. So let's continue and do it. You know, we check on it now. We are going to use our lasso tool to select part of the skin. Make sure you don't select the eyebrow. And we go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. We choose five, so we are going to multiply by three, which is 15. 15, so 15 is not all that okay for it. 15 so let's see we use 20 for the picture 20 for it then uh, we select Gaussian blur is already selected, so we'll just come here and select the samples. Select the chain and also do it. At this point, we come to the body and uh, which is the skin. We select each part. I don't want to. I don't want it to be flat, that's why I'm selecting each part of the body one by one so you can do it like that so that it will not be flat. Picture. So, so I will select here. our picture before after before after so now what we'll do is uh, 
bring up the color or raise the brightness so we are going to i'm going to select go to levels make sure you pull the brightness small manage it now we hit invert the keyboard and this time we are going to use the brush tool and paint the model's face This was before and now before and now so uh this is the end uh, of the tutorials if at all you like it please subscribe hit the notification bell so that you will support and motivate me to bring more of this video thank you for watching